Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to our Crusader Kings 2 Heavenous Ways playthrough. When we last left off, we fought off an invasion. We have uh, slowly been increasing our power. Uh, also just a quick look here. Yeah, you're in Holstein, Jyland. So yeah, we do need to clean things up and get rid of, once again, we need to get rid of all these heathenous Christians, because they are the real heathens now, and, you know, suffer not the heathen to live or some, some such. Oh, hello. Oh, and some guy has died. All right. Let's see. Oh, good. We have a loyalist. That will make it easier to pass laws, like eventually getting that whole, um, that whole thing we wanted. That, uh, let's also, yeah, get an, a win in here. The thing we wanted being to pass the religious revocation of title law, which will make it easier to get rid of all these Christians from power. And let's see, you're not even worth money. You are a Jew, though, and Jews give special events if they are your courtiers, cur courtiers, courtiers, whatever the word is that I'm apparently incapable of pronunciating. But you know what? For now, we'll just sacrifice you to Odin. Aha! Yet again, more, more, uh, yeah, more cool people. Oh, you're a Christian, but a loyalist Christian. Why are you a loyalist Christian? Curious. Can I, can I demand your religious conversion? You know what? We'll also do that. We'll go around demanding religious conversion of people. But for now, um, yeah, I'm going to relieve you as commander. You're a good commander. But your job now is to... I can't see it. Or did pressing this button automatically relieve you? I guess it did. I'm sure that hasn't always... Oh yeah, it did. All right. I'm sure in the past I've had cases where that didn't end up being the case and then I had like slots that didn't end up getting used. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, and he is directly under my, uh, my rule, so, hmm, I could just plot, wow, I, yeah, I, I could just plot to kill him, I guess, kind of wish I could just straight up duel him, let's see, we're not rivals, we're not foes, we're not duelers involved in a war, or we are involved, <laughs> you know what, let's see if I can turn him into a rival before I die, where, where is that antagonize button, there we go, yeah, I want him to, I want him, in fact, if I can anger him enough to challenge me, then I can just kind of, yeah, do things to him. Challenge him and stuff. And also, yeah, as we noticed at the end of the last episode here, apparently... What is going on here? Oh, okay. So your father died. And your father was King John. Hey, King John? What the hell? Where did, uh, where did, uh, what's his face go? Harold Hardrada. You know what? We can look into that. Actually, I kind of do. You know what? Let's look into that. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's see. Ah, there he is. Harold Hadrada. He died of cancer. And then... Olav was elected. He died of severe stress. This guy died under uh, suspicious circumstances. This guy got elected. And the war right now is... Uh, the English-Norwegian de jure war... So what happened with England as well? I'm kind of curious here. I mean, I guess what happened is the Saxons threw out the, or, yeah, the Norwegian invaders. Uh, let's see here. Harold II, Harold Hardrada, he died of cancer, then this guy got elected, then this guy got elected. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, it's around this point that, um, oh yeah, in 1086, I guess they got, uh, yeah, they got free and, hmm. Interesting stuff. Let's see, what is this? My seer? Oh. Oh. Alright, well, I'll... I'll let you... I'll let you get away with it for now, but I'll, like, totally arrest you and replace you later. Actually, can I replace my seer now with someone who is better and who is also a loyalist? The answer is no. I can. I, it can be either a loyalist or someone who is better, but not both, sadly. 
Actually, you know what? This is enough because I would break the vote or the tie. So yeah, let's get this religious control thing here so that I have a, a legitimate reason. Oh, wow. That was... That was easy. Wait, how did I... Oh, I have your son. Can I uh, ransom your son back? Yeah. I'd rather the money. I mean, that's that's kind of silly, I guess, but, you know, I'd totally rather have the money. All right. Man, life is looking pretty good. Yes, I will antagonize his character. All right, he hates me. But we are not rivals yet. And once we are rivals, I will duel him, and I, I'll then probably immediately die, because that's just, you know, how the game is. And life will be good. Or something. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, you run away. And then I will take all of your land. Oh, which actually reminds me. I could start revoking land here. Yeah, it'll only anger the Catholics, and I don't really care about the Catholics' opinion. There we go. Um, yeah, I guess we only want the top, uh, the top tier stuff. Yeah, there we go. And you have no choice but to comply because you're in prison. we will just take all of your land. There we go. And... All right. So yeah, we'll revoke all these titles, then we'll uh, start giving land out. Actually, we do have some land to give out right now. Oh, I don't want to risk, uh... Uh, yeah, I'll give you Holston here. You can have Holston. There you go. I'll give you the duchy later. There we go. Still have too much land, because we've got Nark. Nark is in the Duchy of Vaster Gotland, which is what we are currently fighting over. Okay, let's see here. You are my son-in-law. Oh yeah, and you are a duke, so I'm not I'm not giving you land. That would be silly. You, however, you can have Nark. There you go. Have Nark. Be happy. Uh, no lower titles. Just, just Nark. There you go. And again, we'll consolidate everything by the by. We've also got some more Christians that we can get rid of here. But again, we'll let that wait. What are you doing? Okay. Cool for you. Cool for you. Yeah, anyway, yeah, let's just revoke all the titles of all the Catholics in one fell swoop. Because they all hate me anyway, and they're gonna hate me forever, so might as well just, uh... Yeah, take the land, this is gonna explode, isn't it? Or maybe not. We'll, we'll see. Oh, there goes my Spy Master. Yeah, I'll make my daughter Spy Master. That is an awesome idea. All right, you go down to the region over here that is the Byzantine Empire. And yeah, then we'll punch this guy in the face and go back to sieging stuff. Okay, yeah, that yeah, I should have seen that one coming. I had a feeling that was going to happen. But um oh god. Oh, I might have just destroyed my empire. There's too many of them. Oh yeah, you know what? I'll just take you prisoner. There you go. Enforce demands. Then just revoke all your titles. There you go. Revoke your ever title. And this guy is Nark. You can have... the Duchy of Vaster Gotland. There we go. You can have the Duchy of Holstein. Okay, and... Alright, how many people are we de Oh, God. Good job, Gaslight. Masterfully done. Oh, boy. 
Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, we we don't have <laughs> we don't have the numbers for this. Oh, though this guy actually did just straight up let me let me take his land. Right. Okay, now I'm gonna need some, uh, yeah, oh, I inherited the Duchy of, S oh, dang gummit. Uh, where is Smallland? This is Smallland, isn't it? Yeah, okay, um, well, that, uh, that could have gone better. I will not lie. All right, there you go. And if you don't mind raising your armies. Okay, you have nothing yet because you're literally, you literally just got power. I only have, well, I have access to, in theory, 6,000 men. But, uh, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon, is it? All right, well, oh, I could, though, inspire... Hmm. There's a lot of stuff I could do. I I should have taken my time and like declared these or rem removed the land one person at a time. But I got greedy, as I often do. And now we are seeing the price of that greediness. But, you know, we uh we can still turn this around. Don't let my uh my haste and general uh, foolishness confuse and misguide you because I totally, totally can turn this around. Totally. I mean, if I can just capture the the leader of oh god, seven thousand men, I can still totally turn this around. Also, I've got an idle council member. Uh. Yeah, let's work on proselytizing. Let's, uh... That seems reasonable. Yeah, you can proselytize over here. Have, uh... You raised your men. Though it does occur to me if I... I might actually... Need to release and re-raise. Yeah, if I... Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a bunch of guys. But again, um, yeah, this is really not the brightest move. Oh, no, 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 let's, uh, let's not do bad things. That would be kind of bad. All right, I mean, we've got 4,000 men. I'm semi-reasonably confident that I can... Uh, do stuff with this. Oh yeah, look at that. We have superior Viking power. And I'll sacrifice you to Odin because screw you. Screw you, you filthy, filthy Christian heathens. And so on and so forth in that manner. You know what? Why not have a, a military... Education. Let's see. We shall be- Aha! There we go. Now I can just straight up kill him. I mean, actually, after this, uh, he's gonna- it's gonna be a non-issue because he's gonna be- He's gonna be arrested. Also, this isn't my capital duchy, isn't it? It is, so I could actually take some of this land for myself, possibly. If I was, uh, you know, feeling so obliged. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is beneath me. I don't- we're rivals now. I don't really need to- I don't really need to do any further damage to you. Alright, keep has been built. Is it a good idea to be building, uh, stuff of this nature while we're in the middle of a war? Probably not, but then again, I do have money, so... Yeah. I mean, I'm not really interested in... Okay, good, good. Victory has been achieved. All right. I mean, they still have more people than us. But, honestly, if I can even get a white piece out of this, that would be... That would probably be sufficient for my needs. 
Probably. Oh dear. There's a lot of, uh... Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, there are a lot of Christians going around here causing... Causing some problems. But I'm again. I'm I'm still pretty confident that we've we've got this in the bag. Hmm. You know what? Let, let's uh, let's beat that army. It might be actually more important to uh, to win battles rather than insist on like just fighting these guys. We'll see. Yeah, you can have your money. Uh, yeah, so let us drink in his honor. But don't become an alcoholic, because that would be bad. Oh yeah, look at that. They're also getting attrition down there. So we'll siege back this land, and then we'll let them attack us, because they're totally going to have to attack us at some point. And I'm a drunkard. Never mind. Okay, wonderful work. Um, actually. Yeah, we'll, uh... We'll land here and siege this back. Okay, there we go. Castle Shipyard has been built in some place. Good for you. And let's see here. Yeah. So once I get control of my various land back, That should balance things out. Then we just need to win another decisive battle against, like, these guys. And, again, life will... Life will be good. Awesome. More military upgrades. That's also a plus. Uh, in fact, do I want to upgrade our... Like, any of our stuff? I mean, I guess if I want to upgrade anything, I probably want to upgrade heavy art or, yeah, heavy infantry and military organization right off the bat. Um, be a little bit of improved construction here if we, well, we don't actually have the points for it. We'll have to work on that. And let's see here. I think majesty is probably, maybe a little bit of tolerance just because. Get some women in power. Increase the productivity of our land by having, you know, again, more people. You know, the more people that are under our control, the better. Alright, so yeah, we're up to 61%. Could I just white... Well, then again, why white piece it? Yeah, why would I go for white piece when I could totally go for, um... Go for the win. Yeah. Let's do that instead. All right, also, I am gonna kinda work on upgrading my top holding here, make life slightly easier for us. There we go. Also, get a bit more land. Is it really the best, uh... Is it really in my best interest at this particular moment to, um... Actually, can I raise your guys? I can. All right, that gives me another five, another 500 men. Which, which uh, again, turns the tide in our favor. And these guys are just sitting on their own island for whatever reason. So, you know, good for them. Yeah, if they come and attack me here, they're almost definitely going to end up uh, losing. And I shall... Yeah, I'll duel this guy myself. And... Yeah, I'll show no mercy this time. I mean, there's only so much mercy to be given. And I shall also sacrifice you. To Odin. For Odin. With all of the prophets going, you guessed it, to Odin. Alright, good. So we siege that out. Let's, um... Yeah, we'll go finish this off. That way we can just end this war and maybe get a few... A few quiet years of peace to rebuild and get our men back, and then we can invade Norway. As I grow weary of this war, though at the same time I also enjoy the constant warfare. And, oh, I could get, uh... 
What happened to you? I mean, you're actually a really terrible marshal, so... It's, uh, you know what, it's not in my interest. I mean, you're not the best. I could retire some of our commanders, but, uh... And make them marshals instead, but I don't really want to do that. And... What, what are you doing? It's a plot of some kind. Oh, you want to fabricate a claim. Oh my, we actually have lots of prisoners for our inevitable, uh... Bloot at some point in the future. Bloot, blot, whatever you call it. I'm pretty sure it's bloot. It might be blot. Anyway. Ah, what the heck, we'll loot it again. We get a little bit of money for that. Seven whole ducats. Alright, finally. Finally, we can rest. And, uh... Yeah. Y'all should have just gave me... The land I want it. That occurs to me, some of these guys are worth money, so if I actually ransom them... I could get a whole bunch of money. But then again, do I really want a whole bunch of money? Not really, I guess, is the answer. Gosh, I have, I have too much land. Okay. And, okay, so yeah, you've got that, Dutchie. We want to make the Duchy of Jiland here. Jilin, Jilin, whatever. And let's see here. Let's uh, refresh this. We want our men. Uh, it doesn't really matter what their their marriage status is. Um, let's see. Are there any? Not of a great house. I don't want them of any any great houses here. Can I give you land? I could give you this temple. So I will. Why not? Give you a temple. And you, my good boy. You can have Jilland. I mean, there's... I see nothing wrong with giving a child rule. Makes my life easier. And we can uh, create the Duchy of Scone. There we go. It is Scone, right? I'm not, like, horribly butchering that. I would feel pretty bad if I was. But I'm pretty sure that is the appropriate pronunciation. Hello, sir. Wait, what duchy are you part of? Oh, you are also... Okay, so you're under uh, this guy's control now. Yeah, and I'll trust that all the land will be distributed fairly. Actually, you are worth so much money that I might just straight up... Uh, Yeah, you know what? You, you're a, you are a Christian, but you are a valuable Christian, and so I shall endeavor to keep your land. Or, you know, something like that. Alright, everything is looking pretty good so far. Uh, this fella, I am going to, actually, can I just, can I duel you? I can't, so I'm just going to revoke your title. There you go. Goodbye. And if I look at kingdoms, yeah, this is all Lapland, so you know what? I'm just going to give you this ever province anyway. There you go. You can have Vaster Button. There you go. Live long and prosper, kid. And if we look again at things, all right. I don't suppose I can jest in three captives. Okay. I can only do a conquest, so we'll wait until until I pass away and my son becomes king. And once he is king, that is when the good stuff will happen. You know what? I actually might give him Sodermanland. Maybe. Or, no, if I'm going to give him anything, I should give him, like, a whole duchy to rule for himself, shouldn't I? Yeah. Anyway, we'll get around to figuring all that out by the by. Alright, so I've got... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna raise one more Huskarl unit and then we'll, uh... We'll kind of do the math on things and figure out... Uh... Yeah, we'll figure out from there. Like, a thousand Huskarls and then we just, like, 
kind of maybe two light infantry. So we've got four Huskarls, so we want eight light infantry to balance that out. I think that's a good composition. At the very least, we can go we can go raiding with that. We can make that work. But again, yes, yeah, so it's time to wrap things up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.